All right, boys, welcome back to another video. Swaggy here. You can also find me over on Daily Cardinals. Today, we're talking about the Cards 24 to 23 victory over the San Francisco 49ers this afternoon in Santa Clara. This was without question the biggest win of the year. Yeah, the Rams game was awesome, but when you go on the road against the team that was expected to win this division, a team that was expected to win the NFC once again, I mean, that's huge. Also, how they did it. The Cardinals dominated on the ground. They truly did dominate up front. They made it difficult on Brock Purdy, forcing two picks. They sacked him twice. They're pressuring him. Kyler Murray wasn't under a lot of pressure in this game. That was a large reason why he was able to play make and go out there and help his team win. But Jordan Mason fumbled the football. There's three takeaways right there that the Cardinals ended up forcing. Jake Moody, the kicker for the Niners, got injured trying to make a tackle on a return. Because of that, the Niners had to go for it on 4th and 23. And to be honest, you guys, unless they were able to get right down in the goal line, they were, they were going for it no matter what. And that played into the Cardinals' favor. They will gladly take that. But this was a huge win for a lot of reasons. The takeaways is one of it, but it's also the way Kyler Murray played. I mean, he threw for 195 yards and a touchdown. Of course, did have that interception, which was unfortunate. I mean, Nick Boza, the edge rusher, was able to get a hand on it. Kyler didn't see him. But Kyler also rushed for 83 yards and a touchdown, right? So, I mean, we're looking at a guy that goes out there, puts up a ton of yards, has two touchdowns, puts his team into a situation to win. A big thing in this game was Marvin Harrison Jr. late coming out and, and making plays just two for 36 which certainly isn't exactly what you want to see i mean you want to see bigger numbers than that but the catches were big especially on that fourth and five i mean if he doesn't make that catch uh, the cardinals probably lose this game right michael wilson five for 78 i mean he had catch after catch after catch for first downs had a long of 34 caught five of his six a targets just a very good game for him of course the cardinals want somebody to emerge as a consistent option outside of harrison jr and trey mcbride who went six for 53 in this so if wilson can continue that the cardinals will be very happy and probably the most surprising thing in this game elijah higgins with a touchdown catch great play call of course by the offensive coordinator it looked like a design run all the way and higgins was able to leak out and keep his feet in bounds the throw was high by kyler Great job there. James Conner continues to be incredible, continues to be one of the more consistent running backs in the league. I mean, you click on him right here, guys. I mean, look at that. He is you know, 29 years old, which is so young, but for a running back, I mean, normally that's when you start to slow down, but absolutely not. Conner, I mean, 19 of 86 as a rusher and as a receiver gives you two for 14. So he ends up going for 100 yards from scrimmage, just was physical, was wearing down this Niners front. That's as good as it gets. And I was impressed with the run game, 26 for 169. I mean, I need a calculator to be able to calculate what that average is. Let's do that right now, 169 divided by 26. 6.5 yards per carry. So you force three takeaways, you rush for six and a half yards per carry. You're probably going to win that game. And the Cardinals did. They won by one. And like I said, this wasn't the prettiest game in the world. But you go on the road against the best team in your division uh, by most people. I mean, a team that won the NFC last year. I mean, this is a huge win for the Cardinals. I mean, they were coming off of an embarrassing loss to the Commanders last week. I did see that game. And man, was it bad. It was ugly. It was just a complete abomination. But that's the NFL for you week by week league. You lose that way and then you beat the Niners, right? So this all of a sudden, I mean, the Cardinals legit. It keeps them in the race, obviously, for the NFC West division. The Seahawks is going to be tough, man, with the way they're, they're looking this year. But at least, you know, you still have a chance. And of course, it just build momentum off of it, continue and continue to get better. In terms of the defense, Brock Purdy, 19 of 35, 244 with a touchdown, two interceptions. I think a large reason that the cards won this game was because of the pressure that they put on purdy like i said earlier kyler wasn't under a lot of pressure in this game hardly hardly any at all but purdy was and he had to roll out extend plays and he can do that but that's the key to beating the niners is you want brock purdy to get out of the pocket right you don't want him to stand in there protected and be able to find all of his weapons let them create after the catch so great job by this cardinals front that again was just flat out terrible last week against washington in terms of the run game for the Niners, 26 for 153. Almost, uh, I'm not going to say identical because the cards was better, but pretty similar statistics running. Jordan Mason, 14 of 89. Brock Purdy, 4 for 33. Uh, of course, in the backup, uh, Isaac Garando goes 5 for 22, and then Debo, 3 for 9. I mean, good running attack, but that lost fumble 
basically negates that too because if it hadn't been for that fumble i mean we'd be having a much different discussion but that was big for the cardinals but yeah the run game did hurt them i mean kyle shanahan we know he's the best coach in the nfl at calling up run plays so but the cards that they stuck with it man until the end and it was big brandon iu gave them trouble the entire game eight for 147 george kittle gave them trouble too eight for 64 and a touchdown outside of that though good job limiting debo Jawan jennings Jordan Mason had a catch for nine yards, of course. Uh, I mean, it's just a good job against the passing attack of the Niners because if that was able to get going on top of the run game, I mean, again, it just would have been too much for the cards to handle. But the defense was good, uh, especially in the second half. I mean, they didn't even give up a single point. All the damage was in the first half. So I mean, it seemed like, I mean, it was 20 to 10 at one point in this game. I was thinking it's over. I, legitimately, I thought the cards were going to lose this game. It just seemed like a normal game for the Niners. But. Uh, like I said, momentum swings so fast in the NFL, and the Cardinals, they just stuck with it, and they came out of here with a victory. So for this Arizona team, two and uh, three, which, again, you know, two and three is not the best, but you fall to one and four, you're, you're in serious trouble here. Of course, that loss to Detroit, I mean, was a one possession game. They could have won that. The game at Buffalo, they could have won that. Some calls went against them, blow out the Rams, get blown out by Washington. So it's just very strange, very, very strange season for the Cardinals. But this is a team that, of course, was picking at the top of, uh, you know, the NFL draft in April. They had the fourth pick. They ended up getting Marvin, uh, the best receiver prospect that we've seen in decades, if we're being honest. The schedule is tough for the Cardinals. They're at Green Bay next. And then they're at home against the Los Angeles Chargers at Miami versus Chicago versus New York Jets by week at Seattle at Minnesota versus Seattle. I mean, this is a tough schedule, very tough schedule. But from what I saw today from the Cardinals, I do have a lot of faith in them. I think they're doing a great job. Obviously, this isn't going to be Rome being built overnight. There's no just thing is that the Cardinals are in a rebuild and they have a lot of weapons. The defense uh, bounce back from where they were last week it's a fun young team jonathan gannon of course was with that eagles team that won the nfc that season he goes to arizona shane Steichen goes to indianapolis right now i just need to see continue consistency out of the offense because i thought it played well the play calling was good kyler was protected yeah there wasn't I mean, Kyler had that explosive run. There was a couple of explosive plays, but not enough, right? I just feel like we need to see more with how many weapons that the Cardinals really have. I mean, they have an underrated amount of weapons, guys that they like a lot. Of course, like I said, the Lions game, the Commanders game, just the offense wasn't able to, to do much on offense. And then the Rams game, it did everything. I mean, Kyler played one of the best games you'll ever see. Buffalo game offense was good defense just kind of let them down and then san francisco right so i just need to see consistency moving forward because that's going to be the key for for the cards especially if they want to win some of these upcoming games 